Okay, so we're going to look at how to conjugate in the present active indicative. So I'll change my pen color so it'll show up a little bit better here. So we're going to conjugate the verb do dare dati datum which means to give so these are just the four parts of the verb do first person singular present active indicative Dare is the infinitive, which just means literally to go, to give. And dati, first person singular, perfect active indicative. And datum is the perfect passive participle, which we don't need. We don't need this one, and we don't need this one for right now. So just ignore those so they don't uh, get in the way. So what we'll do is we'll look at how to conjugate this in the present active indicative. So we have do, dare, get my pen back here, do, dare, which we can just say that means to give. And we need to conjugate this into all of its forms, singular and plural. So I'm going to make a little column here. Call this one singular and this one plural. And we get to put it into first, second, and third person. So I got first person, second, and third. First person singular, super easy. You're given that right there in do. So we'll just put it down here, do. And in English, the pronoun we use for that is I. So we would say I give. So we start off with that. For the rest of this, we need to look at this infinitive, which is dare. Then what we do, we go up here and we drop the RE and we're given this verbal stem, DA, D-A. And we add the personal endings, in this case it's S. We translate that as you give. And then DA plus T, that would be he, she, it gives, so we've got our singulars, plural, we get da, mus, m-u-s, we give, second person plural, da, tis, t-i-s, that would be you, plural, give, and then third person plural, we get D-A-N-T, daunt, they give. So, as we conjugate the verb, this is what we're going to end up with, this, this chart. So, we'll have the listings do, das, dot, damus, datis, daunt. So, when you look at those forms where it says do, dare, dati, datum, just ignore dati and datum for now. Just mark them out or don't write them down just so you don't get confused. And everything we need to do, we can do with do dare. We find the verbal stem by dropping the re from the infinitive right here. And we take that verbal stem, which is da, and we add our personal endings, uh, s-t-m-u-s-t-i-s-n-t. First person singular is given, do. We don't have to do anything to it, and you stick it down there. So that's what it should end up looking like. 
So you also had a question on the infinitives. So let me clear my board and we'll look at the infinitives. And we'll actually look at it for this one. So I said infinitives, I meant to say imperatives. So imperatives. And these are, in Latin, they're just simple commands. So, and just like in English, when you command, uh, there's really no conjugating to it. You either command one person or more than one. So, to form the imperatives, so if we just had uh, do dare like we had before. We form the imperative from the infinitive. And in this one, we have two forms, singular and plural. So technically they're second person, so you can write second if you want to. So to find the singular imperatives, we just drop the RE and we're left with DA. And that's it. So that would be the singular imperative. So we would say, you know, give as a command. To form the plural imperatives, we take da and we add t e. Looks like date, but we would pronounce it date. Uh, translation is really the same. All of you. give. So to form the imperatives, super simple. Uh, drop the RE from the infinitive and for the singular imperative it's just that stem DA and for the, for the plural it's DATE. So no matter the verb. So I'll do another one just real quick here and show you it's pretty simple. So let's say for the imperative. Say we're given AMO Amare, which means to love. So if you were going to command somebody to love something, so in the singular, all we would do is look at this second principal part, the infinitive, drop the RE, and we would have ama, love, and in the plural, we would have ama, we would add te, amate, all of you, love. So, that's all there is to it. Mainly it's a matter of memorizing endings and knowing how to form the different stems. So, give this a try and, and see if this helps. And uh, let me know if you uh, need any clarification on any of this.